The fenced-in dog park at the transfer station outside of the Kingston Wind Independence easement area is underway. The Boneyard, as the park is to be called, is organized by Friends of Kingston Dogs, and PCN met up with its president at the site for an update on the construction and news of when it is officially opening. Welcome to the future Boneyard site here in the town of Kingston. This is going to be our uh, off-leash dog park in town. We're very excited. We are currently standing on top of Kingston's capped landfill, which was capped a number of years ago. And um, we are going to put a dog park here as a really great beneficial reuse of a piece of property that the town of Kingston owns. It is now September 2017. This time we are actually in active construction. So you can see in the background some grading being done. Um, because we're on a landfill, we're actually building the park up as opposed to digging down, which is a requirement from the uh, Department of Environmental Protection. We are in about a six or eight week construction period here. We are going to have about an acre size park, which will have two uh, components to it. It'll have a large dog component and they'll have a small dog side which will be under 25 pounds. It'll be completely off leash area and um, we're very excited about that because there's no place in town that you can run your dogs off leash and this will be the first and, and only place. Uh, it's a beautiful day here on the Boneyard site and um, we're about three or four weeks into construction. We're just about done building our grade up and we are going to be installing fence soon and curbing, a parking lot area, an informational kiosk, We'll have um, exercise equipment in the park. So the timeline for completion for the park is around mid to late October. Uh, we are uh, also scheduling a uh, tentative, tentative date for our opening is November 18th. Uh, on a Saturday, we're going to do an opening event here at the park. We are going to retire Kingston's canine unit, which uh, retired formerly from service this July. His name is Ollie, and we're going to do a canine uh, retirement party for him for all of his service to the town over the years we want to thank him as well as open the park we'll have animal control here to answer your questions we'll have uh, some of the town clerk's office here so they can uh, issue placards for the park uh, as well as we'll have some of our sponsoring groups like Kingston Animal Hospital will be here with a booth we're going to have a hot dog truck here which will be very exciting maybe some face painting uh, it'll be a really really fun day it'll also be a fundraiser as well as we're gonna be opening our memorial fence walk, we'll have a, instead of a, a, a in stone memory walk, like a lot of parks do, we're actually putting together a memory fence so that people can purchase um, dog metal dog bones that we can have engraved for memories of their pets that have passed on. And we're really looking forward to welcoming a wide variety of people here and their canine friends to our park. 